Hello, hello there, hello, grade fives and sixes up there at OPK School. It's me, Lance Cardinal, as always. So happy to be here on this beautiful day the Creator has made for us for some more fun art adventures. And I know that you guys are probably so excited, as I always am, to say hi and to see each other and have a really fun day today. It's gonna be so awesome. Thank you for coming as always to this fun day to do some crafts with me, today's no exception. And as always, the first thing we always do when we see each other is say hello to each other in Cree. And as you know, saying hello is... Tansit. That's right, the word is Tansa, as you all know. So I want to hear you out there on the count of three saying Tansa with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, Tansa! Right on, you guys. So cool. You guys are old pros at this because you're the grade six, fives, and sixes. You're the older kids. You know all these Cree words already, but it's always nice to keep on practicing. Now that brings us to the Cree word of the day. Now as you all know, the seasons have changed. Uh, spring and summer are gone. Fall is gone. All the leaves came down. We had Halloween, which is really fun. And now we're heading into winter. So yes, all that snow is falling down very, very lightly right now. And I'm sure up there in Wabaska, there's probably lots of snow in Demeray and Wabaska and all over the schoolyard. But that's okay because I love winter. I love when the snowflakes fall down and we can go sledding, we can go uh, skidooing, we can go ice fishing, we can make snow angels and snow forts and snowmen. Oh, I just love winter. It's so great as long as we stay warm. Now, that brings us to the Cree word of the day once again. And the Cree word today, I'm sure you have guessed by now, is Kona. Yes, and that means snow. And Kona is snow in Cree. And that's our Cree word of the day. So on the count of three, I want to hear you guys out there say the word Kona as well. Are you ready? One, two, three. Kona! Not bad, you guys. So there you go. The Cree word for snow is Kona. And so now you know. There we go. So that's going to bring us to our art project of the day today, which of course is always based on that Cree word of the day. And the Cree word today is snow. And today's art project is so, so cool. Are you ready to see it? All right, here it is. Ooh, we're gonna be making these really cool popsicle stick snowflakes. That's right, amazing popsicle stick snowflakes, just like this, made of popsicle sticks and painted white with a little holder on it. So fun. Now these snowflakes are a little bit more difficult to put together, but you know what? They look so cool and you can make them however you want. I'm gonna do a tutorial today on this snowflake, how to make this particular snowflake, but you can do it whatever you want in the classroom. Maybe what you guys should do is watch the video first as a class, see what I'm doing, and then you can have time to do your project your way. But of course, we need someone to hold this up for us. Let's get out our trusty assistant from down here. Where are you, buddy? Ah, oh, here he is. Ready to go, my little buddy here. Always likes to help us out and hold our projects up. So let's get him to do that right now. Okay, buddy, what are you gonna do? Hold it like this, maybe? All right, and we hang this up right on there. Well, thank you, sir, for holding our snowflake. He's a very, very good assistant. There it is. And then you put a little hand on this side and hold it. There we go. That dude's gonna hold it for us. He actually loves our snowflake, as you can tell. He's very proud of it. <laughs> so there it is, he's gonna hold it for us the entire time so we know kind of what we're working towards. But as always, the first thing we gotta do when we start these projects is get all of our supplies together, all right? So first thing we're gonna need today is a piece of paper or something to lay down on our table to keep our table safe from paint, which we're gonna do later on when we paint that thing white, okay? So make sure I have paper down on the table. Next thing we're gonna need, of course, is popsicle sticks. Now, I think the best way to use for these are the stir sticks for coffee. They're the long, skinny ones. They're much easier to use for this kind of project. They're easier to cut with the scissors, and they make a, a more uh, thinner and more beautiful snowflake. You can use whatever size uh, popsicle sticks you want. You can even use twigs or uh, whatever you want in, in replacement of this. Anything you have, paper, cardboard, anything you can to make this, the, the snowflake, all right? All right, so we're also gonna need some scissors to cut the snowflakes up into pieces. Put that right there. Oh, yes, we're gonna also need um, 
painting supplies. So I have a little tray here for my paint, as well as um, some paper towels. Now, as we know, we also need some water, just like this. Water ready to go right there. Paper towels right in front of the water, because as you know, we rinse off our brushes, we dab it on in paper towel to see if there's color in it. If there is, we wash it again until it runs clean, and we set our brush down in there. That's how we do it, right? <clears throat> We're also gonna need a paintbrush, so I have this one right here. Something a little bit uh, thicker that's gonna be able to get in all of the areas. Whatever paintbrush you have would be good, but something a little bit thicker would be best. We're also gonna need some string or rope or something to hang our snowflake with right here. I have black, but you can use white or whatever you have. Uh, you can even, um, you know, you don't have to put something on like that. You can just hang it from the inside if you want. You don't need to have a rope at all. And we're also gonna need glue. Now, today I am using a glue gun because I wanna work fast today to show you how this project goes. So I'm gonna use a glue gun because it's easier for me to glue things with a glue gun than it is with uh, regular glue. I'll have to wait too much longer. But if you have regular white glue at, at, in your school, you can do the same thing, but you gotta make sure and let it sit for a whole day until it dries before you try to lift it up and take a look at it. That's the only trade off. I also have today this guy my hair dryer. I always have this around uh, to help dry things faster when I'm painting, just so the project can go a little bit quicker. But that's there in case we need it, as well as the glue gun when we're ready for it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, guys, to begin our project is get our sticks out. <laughs> now, this one here, we're crisscrossing, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is crisscross our sticks. I have three of them here, like this and like that, and like that. We're doing a five-pointed snowflake today, okay? So what, that's our goal. So what we do now is glue them together. We're trying to find the middle spot on our stick and put some glue down, just like that. And then we put this over top, sort of like that. I want it, we don't want to do a total crisscross. We want to make sure we have it, uh, five points, right? So just like that. Now we're gonna put glue on that spot right there. Now once again, I'm using a glue gun because it's much faster for this project, but you don't have to use a glue gun. Use whatever whatever's comfortable for you. But again, the glue gun, as you can see here, gets stuck pretty fast. So if you have an option to use a glue gun in your school, uh, if each of you have your own glue gun or a way to get, have a glue gun, I do recommend doing that, it's much faster. All right, so now the next step we want to do is to create the middle part of our snowflake. I'll bring this guy back here a little bit. So we want to create the inside. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces needed. Okay, so we take, take our popsicle stick and we cut out a piece off the edge. We want to cut off all those rounded edges, okay? And then we kind of measure what we need. And it looks like I need about that size. That's one piece. Now, you have an option of taking your piece and, oh, I need a pencil. With a pencil, you can also, after you have the one piece, you can trace out five more. Just like this. One, two, oh, three. Two more, four, five. Now we have six pieces, so I cut them out with the scissors. Now if you have um, like a wire cutter or a um, an, uh, pliers that has a cutter, this guy could also work as well. It depends what you're more comfortable using and what you're allowed to use at your school. You can see here, scissors do cut this quite well, so I do recommend a nice pair of scissors to cut them uh, if you can. All right, so now I have six pieces of wood ready to go, and there's our, our star. Now we take our glue, and we glue two sides like that, and we put it down on our snowflake right about there, and we go around and keep doing the same. Doesn't matter where 
Doesn't matter how. As long as it's how you want it to go. All right. And again, every snowflake is different. Every snowflake is unique, just like us, just like you. Um, you know, millions of snowflakes in the sky. Everyone that falls down is different and unique. And if you ever looked at two snowflakes on their mittens before, you've noticed that they are very different. It's kind of cool to see. So we want to make sure you don't worry too much about it being perfect because there's millions of other ways to do it. <laughs> so again, we're just using our glue and going all the way around in a circle, best of our ability. <laughs> Sometimes it wants to do it how it wants to go. Let it happen. Because you know what? In the end, no one's going to care if it's perfect or not. It's going to be just how it's supposed to be. All right. So there we go. I've done the center of my snowflake, and I love it. Very cool. All right, the next step we're going to do is the outsides. Now, you can see here on the outsides of my snowflakes right here are two larger sticks. So we're going to take, oh, I even have some leftovers. We're going to take some of our leftovers and measure how big do we need them. Let's see. Oh, about that big. So I'm going to do one. And I'm going to cut out a second one. And we're going to try it on, see if it fits. All right, so now I have two pieces, which, you know, you can see kind of go, oops, see, I'm going to be going right there, okay? So we pick where we're going to look at them and we say, okay, great. Yeah, I like that. Looks great. Looks perfect. So now we need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more for a total of 12 pieces. All right, so we'll do that right now. Now you saw before how I did it. I just used my scissors, but I'm gonna try uh, and make things quicker and do three at a time, okay? Now you can measure with this, um, a pencil again if you want, which is also easy to take the piece you have and mark it. We take our scissors and we cut. I'm doing three at once because I have a strong pair of scissors, and that's okay too. There we have three. Little mark there. Now again, you know, I'm doing this in a rushy way so I can show you guys a project, and you can go ahead and start working on yours, but um, you know, you don't have to rush. It's up to you guys. All right, so now I have two, four, six and eight I need how many more four more to make 12 eight sometimes if you want you can just put the piece of wood on another piece of wood and use it as a tracer and cut so that's nine ten Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, there we go. All done. I have twelve pieces ready to go. Let's see if we have them all in order here. Ah, yes. Twelve pieces. Perfect. All right, so we have 12 pieces ready to go. Let's see if we can count all of our 12 pieces in Cree while we're here. You might as well do it because we know how to count to 12, so that's easy. Let's do it now. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now let's do it in Cree. Piak, Nisa, Nensta, Niwa, Nianen, Ktasik, Tipigo, Ainanyo. Kigach Matatat, Matatat, Piakusap, Nisusap, and that 
makes 12. Right on, you guys, come to 12. So, so cool. And I know you all know how to do that because you've been learning Cree for many, many years. But it's always fun to do it in the middle of a craft, don't you think? <laughs> all right, so let's get all our pieces ready. We have 12 pieces to go. We're going to start making our edges. Now, you can see here on the edge of my snowflake, it's kind of in a V shape. And again, we don't worry too much about how far away from each other, what angle. Just have fun and do it. Now I leave a little bit of the popsicle stick here showing. I like that little nub that shows here. I like that a lot. So I'm leaving that like that so that it's part of my design. And I like having rounded edges on the outside of my snowflake as well. You don't have to have rounded edges everywhere. I'm just doing that as my choice for my art. And I think that if you wanna have jagged edges or you wanna have spiky edges or flat edges, do it your way as well. It doesn't have to be like mine. Just keep gluing slowly but surely. And again, this might take you a lot longer because if you're using white glue, it's gonna take you a, a good couple hours to get this project done. Um, or maybe even a couple days, depending on how much time you have for your art classes. You can see here starting to come together and look like the snowflake we have is our sample here. And I love that. But again, you don't have to do this way. You can do whatever way you want. Um, you don't have to do spiky edges or V shapes. You can do triangles or circles. Here we go. Just two more left and we are done this part of the project. Yes, there we go. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. And of course, glue gun everywhere. That's just how it goes when you work with glue guns. You gotta get rid of all those little uh, fluffies and those strings, that's just part of it. But we wanna get rid of them before we paint them. It's very important. Get rid of all those little glue gun strings. Perfect, now we have one more level of sticks to do right about there. So you can see I have two, and now I have to have two more below that. I don't have to, but that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> so we take some of our leftover sticks, and we look over here and we say, okay, how long is each one? And I'd say about that long. So I get my scissors, and I cut. Now, there's our template. That's the one that tells us how big everything has to be. And that's the one that we want to use as our sample. Now it's going to go right below there in that spot. Love it. All right. Now we need how many of these? 12. That's right. So we've got to make 12 of them. And once again, do it however you want. This time around, I'm just going to use my, my scissors and just cut pieces. Two. Three. Oh, pieces flying everywhere. Four. Ready? Five. <laughs> Launching. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, one more. Okay, I have to put a whole new stick out for this. Not a big deal. And 12, there we go. 12 more pieces ready to go and to be glued on in the secondary spots. I hope you guys are all out there enjoying this tutorial and I know you're gonna have so much fun doing this. But before we continue on, I wanna show you guys something really cool that I went to last year. Now, we're talking today about ice and snow and winter, but I went to a really cool festival last year called Ice on White. It's like a competition for snow carving and ice carving. So it's like big sculptures made all of ice. So, so cool. So go check out that video right now and then come on back when you're done. So go enjoy and we'll see you soon.
Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm here on Ice on White, checking out these amazing ice sculptures that are here. This is on White Avenue in Edmonton, Alberta. I mean, check this out. It is actually an ice princess floating in the water. And then over here we have this incredible kind of a webbed thing. This is such a beautiful experience here at White Ave. Um, it's a family friendly event and it's one of the best places for a self visit. Come check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. Wasn't that the coolest video ever? Oh my goodness, I enjoyed myself so much at that place. And do you see all those sculptures? How they're all lit, the beautiful ice and everything? Oh my goodness. If any of you have ever been to Edmonton, to the ice castles, you know that that's also a really fun place. Love, great place to be in the winter time. Lots of fun stuff to do in the city, but uh, let's get back to our project. Okay, so when we last left off, I had cut all my pieces just like this. Now I'm gonna go glue them all in place. Now I'm going to leave this sitting right on the table like this as I glue. That way you can see what's happening. I don't have to move it around. It's perfect. Now I'm making sure that this stick lines up with this stick. It lines up perfectly. The same angle, not perfect, but sort of perfect. Uh, the same angle as the other one. So that's the design I'm going with today. Very cool. Man, working with glue gun is so much faster than with regular glue. But you know what's not good about a glue gun is how messy it is. Just gets glue strings everywhere. And not to mention, you can burn. <laughs> and I've burned myself many, many times on a glue gun. That's just what it's like to be an artist. I've burned myself, I've cut myself, I've everything myself with paint and whatever else because that's what artists do. We make a mess and we're, we're creative, but not, uh, not always in the best way. <laughs> All right, two more sticks and we are done this snowflake frame. I'm so excited because it's looking so good. All right, all done with the glue gun for now. Put that to the side. And yes, there we go. Check it out. Oh my goodness, you guys look so good. Like I said, lots of glue gun strings. You get our brush and just get rid of some of those strings off of there. <laughs> now you can see on my on my um, snowflake, it's not perfect. It's all kind of wonky here and there, and, and over here is a little bit crooked. I love that. That makes it so different. Now check it out. Two snowflakes, same design, but different. And that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Something unique. All right. You take this piece of paper off and put it in the recycling, it's covered in glue. So now we wanna put that away, use it next time. Okay, now it is time for us to paint. So I hope you have some white paint ready to go. We'll put this aside here. And make sure you have paper down. You don't wanna make a mess on the table when you're doing your painting. It's very important you don't ha have the desk showing it's covered, okay? All right. Oh, we need, we need our white paint. <laughs> Here it is, <laughs> I forgot to put it in our supply list. I hope in our supplies you have your white paint as well uh, because we need that to make our, our paint our snowflake white. So we get our paint, put some down, need a little bit more than we normally do because there's a lot of edges to paint. So we're gonna do a blob, I'd say about that big. So there we go, about that big. Roll up our sleeves or put on our clothes. We, we don't mind getting dirty because this is a paint job and we don't want to get paint on our clothes. Sometimes it doesn't come out, right? So we don't want that. Okay, 
Let's start painting our snowflake. And again, don't worry about it too much. Just start painting everywhere. Get in all those little cracks everywhere. Just want it to get nice and white. But like I said, it's gonna be a little bit messier than normal because there's lots of edges. Now you don't have to paint this white. You can also paint it blue. You can also, when you're done with this, put white glitter on it so it looks kind of sparkly like a snowflake in the sky. It all depends if you're allowed to have glitter in your classroom or not. Some teachers don't allow it. Some parents don't allow it in their classrooms. And I understand that completely. All right, so as you can see, I'm just sort of smudging it on here. It doesn't have to be pretty. There's lots of edges to do, so we don't want to worry too much about it. And when it dries, it'll dry flatter and you won't notice all those brush marks. Now, like I said, this would be a great project for Christmas time if you want to um, make gifts for your family this year. Maybe make them some snowflakes. You can just buy yourself a whole box of, of uh, these popsicle sticks for about $4 at the dollar store or at the grocery store or at the restaurant supply store. I think even places like Costco or Canadian Tire, those kind of places will have these popsicle sticks as well. And you can buy a whole box and take them home and uh, ask your mom and dad for popsicle sticks for your crafting room because you know what, it's always nice to have them around. You can make uh, so many different great projects with them and they're good for stirring things. <laughs> Since that's what they're made for, is for stirring stuff, you can also use it for that as well. All right, I'm gonna get my fingers a little bit dirty here, but that's okay. We have a rinsing bowl and paper towels to clean up ourselves, so that's all right. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Okay, I feel like we've done almost all the area in paint. Looks really good. Now, rinse our brush off. Every time we use a brush, we always rinse it to make sure that paint does not get stuck on there. Oh, we're making a big wet mess today with our water, but that's okay. We rinse our brush until it runs clean. There we go. Uh, I made a little bit of a wet mess, but that's all right. So there we go, put that there. Now our, our snowflake has been painted, and that's now where we can get our hair dryer. But what we wanna do is use a hair dryer to make it go a little bit faster. Now, if you're at school, it won't matter. You can just let this dry overnight, or in an hour it'll be fine, but I'm gonna use a hair dryer so I can get this done for us. Now, a hair dryer is always nice to have at home too, but be sure and ask your mom and dad if you can borrow the hair dryer uh, that they don't mind getting paint on, because look at mine. Look at this full of paint because I've used it so many years. Uh, but sometimes moms and dads have old hair dryers they don't mind you having for your crafting room or for your art table. And it's just nice to have. All right. And there we go. Now you don't have to paint both sides of your snowflake if you don't want to, uh, because you know when you hang it, you only see the one side anyway, but I think it looks so, so good. Now, the last part of our project is the backing. So we're gonna take this piece of paper away because it's uh, covered in paint and we don't, want, we don't need to use it. So we'll put that in the recycling. All right, now we have our snowflake all done. That's all done as well. Now it's time for the backing. Now I'm using this rope today for the backing. You can use whatever you want. You can use string or fishing line if you want it to be invisible. If you want it to hang from your ceiling, you'll have to, if you're gonna have it hang and spin, you will have to paint both sides of your snowflake. That's just the way it's gonna have to be. But I'm going to be using a piece of string like this, gluing it and putting it on the back. You can see here, that's the back. <laughs> Not too pretty on the back. But that's okay, because it's art. It can be hidden on the back, right? So now I'm gonna put this glue, uh, this piece of string right there on my snowflake. And again, glue gun is very fast, but you can use whatever you want. And there we go, oh my goodness, check it out. I love it so much. This is an amazing project. 
so much fun to have a snowflake like this in the house. You can hang it on the Christmas tree. And now I have two amazing snowflakes. And again, like I said, they're individual snowflakes. Same design, but not the same at all. And that's what it's all about. And that's what we are all about in this world. Everyone is unique. All of us are beautiful. All of us are special. Just like all of you guys out there in Wabaska at OPK. And I've, as always, it's been such a fun time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I can't wait to see you again. And I can't wait to see photos of all of your snowflakes. Hope you take some pictures, send them to me, and have a great day. And once again, my friends, may the Creator watch over you as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. See you later, grade fives and sixes. Have a good day. I love these snowflakes. Falling down from the sky. So, so cool. All right, time to clean up. <laughs>